guy. Uh, you my guy. What's wrong with you? Uh, love him, I love him. Uh, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Hi everyone. Today is going to be a special day because what is on our plate, what we are all going to eat here, is going to bring you some insight on how certain things are seen and certain things are hidden. Amen. What's on the plate today? What's the topic today? Is it compulsory for a man to treat his woman on Valentine's Day. Is it compulsory for a man to treat his woman on Valentine's Day? This is a topic I don't want to start first because if I start first, <laughs> I'm going to be crucified. So please permit me and let me hand this one straight to Danielle so she will start everything. I don't want any wahala. Okay? Okay, so Daniel, please, this one is over to you. Okay, so the question was... Mm -hmm. is, is it, it compulsory mm -hmm. for a man to treat his woman on Valentine's Day? Okay, okay. I don't think it's compulsory, mm -hmm. but I mean, why not? You know, Valentine's Day is a day for love, for couples to, you know, remind themselves about the love that they have for each other, mm -hmm. to treat each other. I mean, why not? There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't think it's compulsory. Mm -hmm. Um... I also think it all depends on the couple and the individual. Mm -hmm. Some people hold Valentine's Day on a very high pedestal. Mm -hmm. It's something that they do every year. So if as a couple, it's something you do every year, I mean, it's a trend that they do. Mm -hmm. Why not? Some people don't. So, like for me personally, Valentine's Day is just like another day. But I mean, I don't mind receiving gifts. There's nothing wrong like with that. You don't that. care about it? Nah, it's not, it doesn't, I've never really celebrated it like that. Oh, okay. But if I received gifts on that day, I'm sure love on that day. Mm. Why not? Mm -hmm. yeah, what, what do you think? For, for me personally, uh, being compulsory, it's not that important. Mm -hmm. But you know, this generation has totally changed. That on Valentine's Day, if your partner, I won't even say partner, if the woman, because now the Valentine's Day is for the woman now. Mm. Yeah, it's for the woman, am I lying? Okay, I get what you mean. Like, the expectation, a lot of women expect exactly. gifts from their, it's for them. from their man, yeah. boyfriend or husband. Yeah. I mean, if they don't get them a gift, it's like, mm. Who, who <laughs> gets stressed more when it's getting near to the Valentine's Day? Is, is it not the man? Because now they'll be thinking of, oh, what should I get her? Even the funniest thing is, when they know 40 February is coming, they start to create problems. <laughs> They start, they start to think, create problems so that they will fight on that same day or they, they will fight on the 13th. Yeah. So no one chats to everyone on that 14th, 15th. Again, I, like I said, I think it all depends on the couple mm. and it all depends on what they've set for their relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, if every year you guys celebrate Valentine's, then mm -hmm. yeah, get your boyfriend a gift, get your girlfriend a gift, surprise them, you know, take them out somewhere nice. But if it's not something you guys do, no one should have a problem with it. If the if gifts are not you know, there's no gifts. But right now, we're on this earth. We're on this earth mm -hmm. that Valentine is not celebrated. There where? are many places Valentine's not like celebrated. Like where China? Me growing up, I never, my parents never celebrated Valentine's. Mm -hmm. I never celebrated Valentine's. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. Did you celebrate Valentine's growing up with your family? Like, was me. it something? Yeah, you. Me. My mom, do you know what my mom's going to say? When they say Valentine gift, she's going to reply, I didn't time. What time? What does that mean? What's Some that, people what, don't know what that means. It. They, they, they know, but they don't care about that. And then don't even uh, put it on the uh, high pedestal, like respect it that much. Or a day that if maybe they don't give to you, you're not going to be um, happy. Because, uh, give an example, like African homes, uh, our mom and dad, they don't look at Valentine as that special thing. Those time, I'll call it, let me call it the Garden of Eden times. Mm -hmm. The Garden of Eden times, that's where my mom will go to the shop, my dad will go to the shop, they will just get some banana and orange, <laughs> and they will just come home and just yeah. enjoy themselves. Even that time, just banana, 
uh, orange, they are okay. They are okay. Even yeah. that time, the love were were, were more deeper. Yeah. They didn't look at any special thing coming in. Yeah. I don't know. Those I think days. now in the twenty first century, in this mm. day and age, mm -hmm. people hold Valentine's Day on a pedal store. Exactly. On they like, have so much high expectations. Yes. I don't think love should be shown on one day. Mm -hmm. It should be shown every single day. If you're waiting till Valentine's Day to take your girl out or your man out, mm -hmm. I feel like that's wrong. Oh, you, you, you know, I, I get what you're saying, but you made a statement, love is supposed to be shown all the time, yeah. not a particular day. day. Yeah. I think the love is shown all the time, but this day mm. is the day we add gifts to it. Okay. I mean, if you're using that day as an opportunity yeah. to buy your partner a gift, why not? Yeah. Because, I mean, let's, in reality, we're all busy. We're all working, especially mm -hmm. people with children. Mm -hmm. You're busy with the children. So if Valentine's Day, you know what, this day I'm going to actually take my wife out, take my girlfriend out, take my mm -hmm. husband, boyfriend out. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. I don't think it's compulsory, it's compulsory but it's nice. It's, like, it's nice yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. And I think it's nice. It adds to the relationship. It adds some vibes. You know, it adds everyone, makes everyone happy. Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. But, but uh, the reason why this topic came, came mm -hmm. up is now it's become... Like a mask. When you go on social media, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, yeah. It's social everywhere. media is dangerous, That's you know. The, no, no, that, People no, no. compare things. Don't believe everything you see on social media. And then at the end of the day, just because you've seen something on social media mm. doesn't mean that's how your life should be. Or because you've seen a different man getting something for their girl. Oh, meaning meaning your guy should get you. To, no. to get the same. That's, that's what's been the problem now. Mm. The social media. Because now when you get um, your woman a gift, like maybe you got your woman an uh, iPhone. Yeah. She's excited. She went on social media, went to see a, a guy <laughs> took uh, his girlfriend to a five-star hotel, and then yeah. they opened the door, and then there were balloon candles everywhere, candles all over the, the bed and all that. It makes you now look at the, 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 the phone your, your boy got you, like, yeah. like what is it? But then that's, that that's people... I think it's wrong to compare yourselves. Oh, right now, the comparison goes on. Now, when you step on social media, it goes on a lot. Well, it all boils down to maturity as well. For me personally, mm -hmm. I'm not going to look at something on social media and compare mm -hmm. myself because one, I'm not in their life. I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. And I know my relationship. I know what we do on Valentine's, whether we celebrate it or not. Mm -hmm. Like I said, again, it boils down to the couple mm -hmm. and the individual. If you celebrate Valentine's, feel free. Mm -hmm. No problem. If you don't, it's not a big deal. You can't come and kill yourself over one day. It's not a big deal. You, you, you see, like... Again, the, um, this generation, things have changed. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the, the Valentine's Day, the, the whole concept, whoever brought it, if uh, it's Santa Claus' brother or Santa Claus' <laughs> uncle, I don't know who brought that whole idea because oh, it's, it's, it seems it's them that brings all this time, time, time. Everything that is time, time. Constant time. And everything time. It's them that brought it. <laughs> I don't know who brought the Valentine concept. Yeah. But the whole concept has changed. Mm. You understand? The whole concepts have changed. And that, that's what becomes a problem now. Yeah. I think the day that we're supposed to spend time with each other, uh, a break from uh, all works that we are doing, spend time with family, mm. spend time with your spouse, everything has changed. Yeah. Now, it's not even about family anymore. Mm. It's boyfriend, girlfriend. Yeah. Husband, wife. But I think that day that we're showing love, if you have a family, if you have mm. kids, that's when everyone's supposed to come together, together yeah. do a nice feast, enjoy. We share gifts, like the way Christmas is. We put yeah. gifts under and all that. That's how supposed to. But the, the concept of change for spouse. That's mm. what I, I, want, I don't know. If the Valentine is for only spouse or it's a day that we show um, friends, family, mm. everyone love. Okay, I think my opinion on that is mm -hmm. Valentine's is a day of love, right? Mm -hmm. It's a day people show love. Love is not just between couples. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can show love to your friends, your mm -hmm. family. I mean, it's a time for even Christians to show the love of God. That Valentine is actually an opportunity for churches to go out, to you know, show love to people, you know, to show what does love actually mean. Mm -hmm. You know, as Christians, we know that, you know, for God so loved the world that he gave his mm -hmm. only son. That in itself is a demonstration of love. Valentine should be a time that us Christians, we come, you know, we show love of God. Um, not just that, but, you know, show love to your friends. Buy your friend a gift. You know, call your friend that you haven't spoken to for a long time. Happy Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Parents, your children. So it's not just for couples. I think, um, 
obviously couples is just like the whole generic thing. Mm -hmm. We see pictures of couples online, married couples and people doing surprises and stuff. But I think the love, love can be shared among anyone and everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I got this here. It says okay. Valentine's Day, the, the, the whole concept of it. Mm -hmm. Valentine's Day, also called Saint Valentine's Day. Okay. Or Feast of Saint Valentine. Is that the history? Yeah. Okay. It's celebrated annually on February 14th. Mm -hmm. It's originated as Christian Feast Day. Christian what? Really? Yes. Hmm. Feast Day. Honoring one or two early Christian Matthias named Saint Valentine. And through later folk tradition has become a significant cultural, religious and commercial celebration of romance and love in many regions of the world. Okay, I didn't know the history of it, but it's interesting to that, that, you hear see, where it originated exactly. from. Exactly, the whole idea, you you understand? But now, the whole concept of change, even though yeah. it doesn't even happen most of the time in churches. Yeah. This is this is time, this, this is even time Christians, especially, are supposed to go out, yeah. spread the love of Christ. Of God, yeah, that's what I was saying, yeah. Donate. There are people out there that they don't have anything yeah they don't have families they, yes. they, there is no love exactly you know, is our opportunity as christians as exactly. people of god to show the love to people who don't have it you know what i mean so but now have it changed the valentine day it only goes on on bed <laughs> condom is finished everywhere everywhere <laughs> it is finished uh, uh now the concept of being like uh sex 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 i'm going to the gift open it let me do it that's it yeah it's like now the love that the the, the the tradition of everything is is, is, is changed. Yeah. That's what I told you. The Garden of Eden time, Valentine. Mm. That was the sweetest time. Even just banana and orange alone, apple juice, they are okay with All it. Right. But now it has changed. The expectation is higher. People see it as different. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with having high expectations. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like if a man, you know, okay, your wife wants a, a Range Rover on Valentine's. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you got the money, why not? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's beautiful. Yeah. But, you know, certain people... Uh, pick point things like if the man don't do this on that day mm. I'm, 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 not gonna give, I'm not going to give him yeah. that face yeah you understand and then sometimes they will even plan if he gives me this gifts this one i'm expecting mm. if it comes the positions and stuff i'll give i'm yeah. coming a, a quick question is a sex a gift on valentine's day is sex a gift? Is yeah, that the question? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's a deep question. Um, I want to say sex is a gift. Mm -hmm. I think sex is something that God created. But but do you know for couples, uh -huh. married couples mm -hmm. actually? For for my, okay, okay, but, because but the reason why, do you know the reason I asked this question? Mm -hmm. Is sex a gift? Because it seems now that the Valentine has become only for the women, and mm. then it's only the men that are doing the gifting. They think. If you give them the gift, and they give you in return sex, sex okay. as their Valentine mm. gift. That's, that's what, what men want. That's what men want. Us girls, that's sex what, is not everything for us. That's mate. what men want. We like gifts. We like surprises. We like being men. taken out for dinner. You guys, you just want sex. So, <laughs> what a. <laughs> so you see that this thing, it's all just. Mm. So it's, it's the men. It's the men they are on for because they say that's just what men want. So it's like. We also wrap it up for you as a gift. Of course, men also want gifts. It's nice to give to your man, you know, yeah. buy him something nice, get him a car, take mm -hmm. him out for dinner. It's also nice to treat your man as well. Hey, take take the man out for, for dinner and I'd be like, today I'm going to like take care of like the way the whole thing, like a man will surprise a woman, mm -hmm. go inside the candles, line up and stuff mm -hmm. and all that. The woman rather will do it. Yeah, but come on, you guys, you don't want no candles and balloons. But what do you want? I mean, do you, is that what you want? You know, what a lot of you women don't understand, you think, men, all what we need is sex. Sometimes you also need to think deep. I didn't say is that's all you want, but most men are satisfied uh -huh. with only that. With only that, who told you? I mean, you're a man, so you tell me. me no, 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 who told you? I'm not only that. You mm. can uh, uh, do something like uh, different for me. Like, maybe we give can me an example. Like, maybe uh, going on a... Uh, Flying in the sky, getting off, uh, you know, what, what, what did they call that one? Um, that uh, skydiving. Skydive! Maybe you, you, you just uh, rented some airplane for me, the airplane is red and all that. I skydive and then balloon, red balloons are coming and all that. I enjoy it. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, you, you have to add some dynamics to the thing. Or maybe 
uh, we cook some jollof, mm -hmm. and then jollof we make sure that when the tomatoes yeah. and stuff goes in, and then the, the jollof will come out red. And then that's we use only. Yeah, most women only cook as well. You know, oh, that's their specialities. So. The, the Valentine's Day, no, it's a lie. The, that one, sure. that one is the uh, Garden of Eden times. My mom's times. That is, <laughs> yeah, that's when they do the jollof and stuff. Home, they drink yeah. banana, uh, apple juice and stuff. But now you go out to dinner. But you know what? Uh, Everyone's different. Mm -hmm. As a woman, know what your man likes. Mm -hmm. As a man, like what you, know, know what your woman likes. Mm -hmm. If you know what each other, if you know your love language, that's all that matters. If I know, oh, my man, my man wants sex, that's what I'm going to give him. If I know, oh, he wants a G-Wagon, or he wants a new top or a new perfume, uh -huh. that's what I'm going to get him. So, the gift is you are only going to give the, what he the wants. man only the sex. You even add anything up. No, did he, I didn't say just sex. I said, I need to know what my man wants. Okay, and then give. If he wants, if, for example, he's been talking about some new perfume mm -hmm. he wants to get this month, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to give him. Okay. Okay. But, okay, let's dive back to the topic today. That okay. Is it compulsory for a man to treat... Because, no, it's uh, not compulsory. Because now it's, it's, become, it's become a problem. People are uh, uh, breaking up because their gift didn't come. People are even, that's people silly. Have even started fighting. So that's, that's very silly. If you're breaking up because you didn't get a gift on Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. that is very silly. No, because sometimes they see that if the man didn't gift me on Valentine's Day, on the day, day of Valentine, mm -hmm. then the, the man don't love me. It happens. Meanwhile, the, the guy showed you love from 1993 to For me, I, I find that very silly because mm -hmm. if you're judging your love because mm -hmm. of... 14 for f a day, a day, mm -hmm. then that's very silly. Then you have to speak to the camera, please. I didn't say that. <laughs> if that works. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, uh, all I'm saying is, if you're judging your love life based on f Valentine's Day, that's silly. I didn't say that. It is silly. Yeah. Well, okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to mm -hmm. dump my guy because uh -huh. he didn't buy me a gift oh, on Valentine's Day. Oh, it happens. It happens because um, after we're going to dive into the anonymous message, okay. and then that, that's the, the special part in this program. And um, you let me dive in quick. Let me just give the first uh, part of the messages because I um, get messages on Snapchat and Instagram. Uh, you know, people send mm -hmm. things like this for us to talk about. So we see other views. You can also put your comments and all that. So I want to read my first uh story that came and they said um, um hello joseph hope you're good yeah i'm good thank you <laughs> my boyfriend got me a bible for valentine's day <laughs> my boyfriend got me a bible a bible on valentine's day I was disappointed because I didn't expect that our, I didn't expect as I planned. Oh, okay. I was disappointed because I didn't expect that as I planned a mini holiday for us and got him a proper gift, which cost him a, which cost me a lot. And also, I already have a Bible, so I'm not sure why he got me another, another one. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my, oh my God. Okay. So basically. I'm, I'm not going to uh, men mention the, the name, yeah. The, the boyfriend uh, got her Bible. I think it's a Valentine Bible. I didn't know they have Valentine Bible on, uh, on the Valentine's Day. And she did something bigger. So she didn't expect just a Bible. So she says that it's just a Bible on the Valentine's mm. Day. Uh, Daniel, this one is over to you. Okay, um, you know what? I think the boyfriend buying a Bible, mm -hmm. he clearly had his reasons why. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe his priority was maybe helping his girl grow spiritually mm -hmm. or, you know, showing her but that But she God... said she already had Bibles. So meaning, like, like mm. different, different versions of Bible, NIV, okay. Holy Bible. And I stuff. mean, you know, it's the thought that counts mm -hmm. because at least he got her something. And, yeah. I mean, a Bible, yeah. Bible is... is, is it's not a bad thing, mm. but I kind of understand where she's coming from. I okay. mean, she spent a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bibles are free. I don't know if he bought it or got it for free. Oh, no, this is a, it's a value. Or he bought it. It's a bought, yeah, it's a, yeah, bought, I don't think it, he yeah. means any harm buying her Bible, you know. But then again, she has a Bible already, so why mm -hmm. is he buying another one? Oh, okay. So, so should I come <laughs> what in? What do you think? Should I come in? Um, please, I'm very sorry for this, but I, I just want to say, God bless your guy so much for buying you a Bible. God bless him <laughs> so, so, so much. Because 
if I was you and then I was gifted Bible, even if I have thousands of Bible, I would still appreciate it. Because what I want you to know and then understand, it doesn't matter the gift you get and it doesn't matter what you do. And then it doesn't matter what you did for him and then what yeah. he got you. It's not supposed to happen that way. Yeah. yeah. Because the guy might have uh, maybe the reason why he got the Bible. Yeah. Maybe she growing or they even growing more spiritually. Yeah. And then I would say even he did it in the right way. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You know, from Genesis to Exodus, there are more deeper things inside that people haven't even read it. They think the Bible is in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, and then that's all. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. But are you going deeper on just Genesis verse 1 to 1? That is what a lot of people don't understand. So the Bible is not even, it's not even respected. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, 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 I didn't expect to read something like this. You understand? But she's not happy receiving a Bible because she could tell her like it's like just a Bible. Yeah. You know what? My advice to the girl who received the Bible, I think... You know what, I think, just appreciate the gift that he got you. At least he got you something. And actually, a Bible is a good thing. He wants you to grow spiritually. And actually, he's showing you that God is actually his priority. And at the end of the day, you should not compare what you've done to what he's done. Because buying a Bible, I mean, what, what, what do I say? Why are you laughing? <laughs> She's got to date her. <laughs> Maybe the guy is the guy is a pastor. I'm sure. Maybe he's a he's a junior pastor and all that. So I didn't I didn't know. What it's kind of like. like you know you know like in the Ghanaian tradition when they're going to marry yeah, a woman. Yeah. The man brings a Bible, Just and a is a symbol yeah. to show that God is the center of yeah, your relationship, exactly. which is a very big part of the exactly. Ghanaian tradition. You cannot exactly. go and marry exactly. a girl yeah. without bringing a Bible. Yeah. So exactly. it's actually a very it's a very a very big gesture yeah, for someone what, to what, do. What she was saying is. She already got a Bible, so that was that, that, that was yeah, the problem. So it's like, why you get it? But but for me, I don't I don't think it's a it's a problem. You so understand? if I, if I went to mm -hmm. um, the shop and I bought you two trainers, the mm -hmm. same. Mm -hmm. No, if if I have like Nike Jordans, mm -hmm. maybe the color is blue, and then you bought well, me Bible, you bought me the all same. Bibles are the same, same content. You content. like you bought me you bought me. Who told you all Bibles are the same? There's a Bible that is like maybe NIV. How it says it's different. Yeah, but it's all saying the same thing. And there's a Bible. It's all the, it's all saying the same thing, but it's written in the same. Uh, we have the thou he okay. shall thou how. Or maybe the Bible that she has is old school. Or maybe he wanted the Bible to be from him specifically, so she can be like, oh, you know, my man. Or my boyfriend got me this Bible. Exactly. Maybe that's what he wants. That's what I said. Yeah. Like, I wish I had seen the picture because I, I think maybe it's a Valentine uh, Bible that maybe when you, you know, Valentine Bible, when you open the first oh page, goodness. you will say Valentine is coming. It will play beats or something. I don't know how the Bible <laughs> looks like, but I, I think you should open it and see. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe if you open, it will, it will have a voiceover. I don't know. Maybe you say in the beginning. God created heaven and earth. They have audio Bibles, actually. Yes. So, yeah, so yeah, please, yeah. just wrap, wrap it. Why? Just appreciate it. You might not know the kind of... What if you open the Bible and then in the middle of the Bible there were some dollars inside? You just judge a book. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go to the second one. It says, um, the, yeah. second, the second message mm, from our anonymous sender. I was having lunch with my boyfriend and accidentally saw a message on his phone from another girl saying thanks for my valentine gift should i talk to him about it or leave it mm. oh oh sister ah first of all why is she looking at his phone that 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 that, that thing we're going to talk about it later yeah this yeah. phone peeping and stuff but it seems she didn't look maybe the message popped oh, up okay. she saw it by accident she saw it by accident that's what she accidentally okay. saw it but uh you can talk about it. I don't think maybe it's a girlfriend or anything. Yeah. You should, yeah, you should talk about it. Maybe it's a friend. As yeah. you should know, the Valentine is not only for you. Oh, yeah, Valentine is, is to share love. She shouldn't jump to conclusion. It mm -hmm. could be anybody. It could be a cousin. It could be a friend. Yeah. It could yeah. be anybody. Do you know, do you know yeah. what I mean? But if it's bothering her, she can sit him down yeah. talk about and be it. like, oh, you know, I, I did come across mm -hmm. this message. Mm -hmm. it's, who is it? And stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and all that. And if, if, it's, if it's nothing harmful, he will mm -hmm. tell her. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's not... Again, that's what we were talking about, the concept of Valentine changing. 
Yeah. Maybe it might be a side guy that uh, a side girl. What if it's a side yeah, girl? Yeah. What, what if, if it is there? Eh, man. What if it's just? I mean, they're not married, so. I like I understand, <laughs> but oh, but how can you? Oh, Charlie. But the the the, 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 the girl. Yeah, the girl thought maybe. Uh, Wait, are they married? Is is the, are they married? No, no. The message and here is just like not married. No, okay, no. I think boyfriend. maybe they're just dating. Yeah. So, but I don't know. Don't don't be pissed off at this. Uh, number one, you're not married. You're you're dating. That's why we said wait and marry before you have sex. I'm sure that because you that's a whole different topic. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you go on it. Just but wait. But let me ask you this: yeah. Is it okay to date more than one person? Or okay, we're talking about Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, right? Is it okay to have more than one Valentine? So as a man, uh -huh. you you know you have Valentine one, Valentine two, Valentine three. You're buying them all gifts. You're you're talking chatting to all of them. You're uh, is that? Do you think that's right? This Father Christmas gift to one person. You know ah. what, like... But at Christmas flying and be gifting everybody. I think... There's nothing, you so, know, the concept of dates alone, we, we're going to talk about it later. Okay. The, the concept of dating have changed, again. The concept yeah. of dates, I'm yeah. dating, I'm dating him, have changed. Can you date more than one person? You can date more than one person. But the thing is, the dating concept has changed, and then now people go in deeper. When they date, we have sex, we do a lot so of So you're saying you can we have sex with more than one person? You cannot have sex with... No. Okay. It has gone more deeper. Dating is not supposed to uh, be um, uh, sex is not supposed to be, be, yeah. uh, be attached to the dating. Yeah. Okay. You understand? So, date, what's the definition of dating then? Okay. The definition of dating, I have to go on Google and then go. But okay. to me, my understanding of dating is going on a date with you, mm -hmm. knowing you. Mm -hmm. That's all. Sex is yeah. not part of it. Yeah. Okay. But now, I agree. Okay. yeah, they've added the sex. When we uh, we date, we have sex. Mm -hmm. We kiss. We see family and all that. Mm. It's not supposed to. Be that is where. Way. Yeah. That is where. When the sex come inside and the spiritual bond also come and then be part of mm. it. That is when the jealousies and stuff and all uh, the devil also comes in and then a whole lot of things happen yeah. and all that, which I want us to discuss on it because. But we're going to have a different topic, we'll have a different topic on sex on before that. marriage. Yeah, so. we have a different... Because uh, we were talking about the second message. Uh, I don't think she's supposed to, uh, like, be pissed. They can talk about it. And then, no, if maybe it's a side girl, girl. and all that, and then they see how they, yeah. they're going to do... If it's a side girl, you know, at the end of the day, mm. they're not married. Maybe the guy's having sex um, with both of them, which is, which is not mm. bad, which is not good. Yeah, yeah I because mean, I'm sure... Uh, maybe this girl's Valentine was six o'clock. So after she fin, he, sorry, after he finish, yeah, he will go to the other one, and then he'll be a Tinder swindler. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. So this is the topic that came today. If you have any um, suggestions or any questions you want to ask, you can put it under our yeah. comment. We talk about it. Let's talk more deeper. And if you want to send us anonymous message for us to sit here and talk about it, so you see other views and all yeah. that. We're going to... Listen, we have more guests coming on. Yeah. There are things you are going to learn. This is the upper room. You are going to be enlightened in your art. We are going to lift you into a different spiritual level for you to understand. This is just the beginning. And just to add... Mm -hmm. um, no one should come and kill themselves mm -hmm. over Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. Love should be shown every single day. Yeah. Especially as Christians, mm -hmm. you know, God has demonstrated what love is. Yes. God is love. Yes. We should be showing love every day mm -hmm. to our colleagues, mm -hmm. you know, to our parents, to Going our children. Outside. Our boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend, husband, wife. Mm -hmm. Love should be in our personality, mm -hmm. in our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't wait till Valentine's Day to show love. To show love, yeah. But then there's also nothing wrong with celebrating Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. If you want there's to use nothing. it as an opportunity mm -hmm. to take your partner out, mm -hmm. why not? Okay, 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 okay. This is the upper room. It was really good. We learned a lot here today. This is a place where we're going to learn. We're going to fill our spirit. We're going to be sharing ideas. If you have any suggestion, if you have any comment, you can put it under on our YouTube you can go on our Instagram page and Twitter, Facebook, DM us, and we're going to reply you ASAP. We love you. Keep watching us. Keep sharing to friends and family. God bless you all. I love God. Bye. Uh, you love God. What's wrong with you? Uh, love him, I love him. Uh, I love him, I love him. I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Love him, I love him, I love him. Uh, Look, love him up.